All right, all right, all right. Sorry that I didn't upload yesterday. I just wasn't feeling it all day. I just didn't feel like any doing anything. Well, I wanted to do so much, but I just just couldn't. I tried. It's all right. So I'm gonna do a recap of yesterday's PA now. And we're gonna start with a replay tool, of course. And then we're gonna start on the daily time frame. Yesterday was the the eighteenth of March, and actually see we that we stayed inside the previous daily low and the previous daily high of the previous day. So that's our range. <clears throat> that's our range. We still have this kind of trend line that got respected. So I would be ideally to see price now continue down. But that's forecast wise. So we want to recap. But that's what I'm looking at. Price coming further down. Um, because we know where we are in price. We are above these highs. We did reach a discount. No. Yeah. For this lag. So we can look for higher prices. But um, ideally, we want to see this lag to be taken out. Because um, we overall have... I'm, let me actually do this in the middle of my screen because we have this overall low up to high put my screen a little bit up there you go because we got this low up to this high now let's look into yesterday so i was initially looking for longs from this area and shorts from this area and unfortunately price came in this into this area just after my session so i couldn't take a trade what yeah there wasn't like anything before that you can see i was looking for maybe sells from this area but as i said like high time for wise there's no it's not a strong area to look for sales it doesn't hold any liquidity below there's no reason to sell there. There's no, it didn't take any liquidity. So it's just a weak ass area. And when, when you go to the lower time frame, you can see that's actually, the price section is pretty nice. So let's replay a little bit further back. You can see that over here. Um, we got those early sellers. And then we got like a nice strong break, especially over here, price got stronger. I was like, should I enter? Should I enter? No, no, no. I'm not going to enter. Glad I didn't. Glad I didn't. Because it's just... Edge consists of two things. One, your confidence is, and two, your story. So if your confidence are there, early sellers, bearish, uh, early sellers taken out, break structure, <sighs> above Asia high, confidence is POI, but the story is, um like, the overall story is where are we? And we are not in a premium or discount. Um, so what can we target? We don't have a strong target here if we sell from here because there's too much room to the upside. Over here, if we sell from here, we, we reach a... Let me show you. I don't, we don't, don't reach an overall discount for this leg, or premium for this leg. But we have this internal range structure. We get a high, a low, a lower high, lower, low, bullish break, bearish break. So this area... Took this liquidity, took this high, and then continued down. So we got an initial, we got that sweep over here. Sweep of liquidity. Oh. Just about, but it took it. That's good. Because we want it to be just taken, not more than that. And we get that turnaround. So this is a strong area to look for sales. And if we just play out price a little bit further, you see it came in. Came to the 50 minute extreme POI. Um, so we can look actually we can actually look for one minute cells in here. Now let's play it out a little bit further. So then we come after session. So there were no long trades here. I wouldn't look for longs either, because I would have looked for longs in a more discount setting. Below <laughs> Asia lows. So that didn't happen either. Now I want to check something because someone sent a trade to me, which was very nice. Yeah, there you go. So we came up and then Mandem took 
this area. So there's actually double confirmation trade here. We got this. Let me show you. Hold up. So we come into this 50 minute PY. Then we break structure over here. The last load that led to a high. I'm going to shove this side a little bit. Because if you now go to the 50 minute, as we got a break here, you can actually indicate another confirmation based trade because we got a second um, 50 minute PO, uh, supply zone. There you go. So that's, uh, if you go lower, it will be more clear. Yeah. In addition to that, we got this five minute POI that sits inside our 50 minute supply zone. We got into an orange liquidity building up. And essentially that being taken and followed by equals to the upside, which is a bit shitty, but this break as well, we can look for a trade over here. Now what happens there? Only thing that happens there is order flow, unfortunately. So someone took a trade from the order flow. I'm just looking into it to understand it. Did he? Or did he? You can class this as your. No. So that will be a nice entry as well. On this one, we got your one minute break over here. And then you enter from the low to let the less high in equity. So the buy to sell move, leaving some room here. Six, six. Five, six, and then 4.2, so 4.7. Now zooming out again to see that entry. Let me remove this one real quick. We'll mark that on in a second or so, but just quickly remove that one so we can see what's going on. So we get the break, internal rate liquidity taken, break of structure. You can enter from this one. So this is one five minute uh, area to look for short. That one plays out beautifully. Gives it one to six. Partials at one to five. Sorry, one partials at one to five. And overall you would target this low. So you take 80% at one to five and overall you would target this low, London low. I don't think we get there. No, so we don't get there. That's one entry, and then your second entry. Um, essentially, we come into this 15 minute block, and then your entry comes from this low, let it leading to this high over here. And now you can refine that and take this one, and you have a slightly higher entry. Now, that's what I did. I didn't take it, but that's why how I marked it out. Then your entry comes from almost the same entry but a big higher stop so 60 would be 50 and then a instead of a 4.7 you get a 8.4 stop and you can target one to four if i'm correct what did i oh i did i put it up here that's it because we already took into range liquidity Yeah, that's how it is, because we already took internal range liquidity. <clears throat> yes. And then we can follow the order flow from that and put our stops above here. Like that. And then 46, 36. And that's your one to four gets hit over here. So two entries, um, I like the, this one. This one is just way too clean. Stops here, 46, no, 56. And then that's that's clean, that's beautiful. Take that, the internal range liquidity over here. That being taken, 
if we zoom in, we can probably see some early sellers on the way up as well. Yeah, so we got a high, a low, a lower, high, a low, a low. And we got the bullish break over here, followed by this minor bearish break, and then a continuation up, taking out the internal range liquidity. So we got that liquidity building up as well. We're respecting this area just above this high, respecting that high, essentially breaking from that wick, and then we turn around. Beautiful. That was the only valid trade for me I could see. Now, where there's some long trades, maybe, yeah. To go. Oh. This is today. So going further into New York, you can actually see that we respect this area. And we tap into that five minute. You get that break over here. Now we got our early buyers as well, a bit high on the range in the range, but over here, a low high that led to that low taken out. And then we got this um buy to sell move, sell to buy move, sorry. And then a long trade comes from this area. No, I hope I got taken in 20, 30. Nope. So, oh, what? Long. So it taps in at 31, I think. Yeah. No, well, maybe with a bit of luck, a bit of luck, you can get tapped in. Tagged in. Quite large stop, to be fair. Oh, there you go. And it just hits uh, 1 to 2.9. And then it comes back to entry. But I wouldn't look for all. Like, although you would, I would look, would like to see price come higher, it doesn't mean that you should be looking for longs. You can also wait for, like, clean... Because if, if you're looking for price to come higher, but there are no, no clean areas um, to trade from, like this one is not the cleanest in my opinion, then it doesn't make sense to trade from there. You can just wait for the short setup uh, and take it from there. Because this is not like, this comes from an area, yeah, I don't know. All right, so that's basically the recap. Uh, peace out.